Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just... work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers! I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Worth memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. I should take a look at that map. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Hey, Logan. Hey, Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out-of-towners. 
I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. They got it, Thornton. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. The mine place. My version of the Mind Palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the Mind Place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it? We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Fucking nature. Gives me a headache. There's too much sky. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to... Sw the cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old.
I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. <laughs> he hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. Had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next call. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Body, shall we? Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now he didn't touch nothing, you know. Procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Step one. Examine the body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence?
Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? The killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as 
All the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. I think that's everything. For now, at least. Mm-hmm. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Hmm. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. They planned for the murder to happen here, passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there, too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Locked. They really don't want people coming in here.
Welcome back, Anderson. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. Probably looking for shelter, safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. That's the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. A lunchbox again. Who's leaving these out here? get lost, Anderson. I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. There's another lunchbox.
forest can be a dangerous place. I didn't know trees got that big. A witch with no heart. A strange echo of Al murder. Hmm. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the words. words. These words felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. I should profile Nightingale about this page. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. He must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. This mug always cheers me up. You made it back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said.
I want to walk around for a minute. You know where to find me. A creepy twig sculpture? Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. I wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Welcome back. Nah. <laughs> I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. <sighs> Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination ASAP. 
Well, sure. But the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thanks. Let's get the car, drive to Bright Falls, and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Another one of those lunch boxes. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead. I take out his heart just to throw it away. This is. Whoa. The Federal Bureau of Control? That's a new one. Toxic volcanic gas, huh? The FBC is an obscure branch. Only shows up for... I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it.
Here we are. Let's head right back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Hi. Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? The passage of time is deceiving. The days of our lives are fleeting. And, and the, the end, end in the end. end. back, Anderson. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. 
Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Cauldron Lake was fenced off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Yeah, that's exactly right. Hmm. Mm, that happened. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, scream into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? So, what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. What were you doing at Colgen late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They, they were shouting, cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, oh. and then we found it. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? Prince was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing, Timmy. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought. 
thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. So, Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious. But soon enough, there'll be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? Played some D&D back in the day. The wizard was always my favorite class. Who else to keep this city clean if not I? Who else to protect its citizens from the dangers of unsanitary conditions? Morning, Sheriff! Looks like you have some guests. Ah, 
I'll be back in a second. Roger. Yeah, real important guest. Your fest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. And always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep. In the morgue, all prep. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. I'll be right with you, sir. Yep. Here, I see. Sir, some patience, please. How are you? Oh, dear. Dear, I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. If only had a tour guide, also. Bear season. Bear. Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh, wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Il Mokoskala, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why... At Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, Watch the government. We have both cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere. Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. Tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermal. Agent? So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking.
Okay. Let's take a look at outpatient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give? Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Chest wound is cause of death, but the corpse is bloated, waterlogged. Doesn't add up. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Okay. 
can't see in the light. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Gotta move. Now. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh. He, he just disappeared? What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale, into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. The autopsy room was a mess, like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her under the light, lurched past her. The Taken could not see into bright light. The light hurt them, hurt the darkness in them, made them vulnerable. I flick the switch, it goes click. Show me the clicker, lights are off, but somebody's home. Hemingway brought you here, witch. Get out of my house, Nightingale shouted. A wave of terror crashed through Saga's head. The awful truth. Nightingale had no heart in his chest, but here he was, killing a monster. The world had lurched out of balance. You found yourself trapped on the far side of the mirror. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. He was there too, Nightingale. Was, but wasn't a Taken, a creature of darkness. He was beyond her reach, where some other strange reality, the Dark Place, merged with ours. This place and the Dark Place, a tarp thrown over top, drowning everything beneath it, a flood of darkness, soaking into everything, spoiling it rotting it. The page called this area an overlap. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. Required precise steps, a ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster before he killed again. Her job, he'd be inside, waiting for her. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. The cold of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. Doesn't look right.
There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the Sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. We, we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. That's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? They're a fine pair. My client has been held here long enough. Are you gonna let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. Times do we have to do this, Walter? Huh? I Let want my wits out. End with you. Something bad's going down. I can feel it. Let me out. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. 
think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Get a beer. Or maybe three. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tell me, mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold Case Casey. Murder Case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha uh ha. -huh. the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet after that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. <clears throat> I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Hello, Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? How did you hear about the murder, Elmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of... Uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. 
Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's sauna, sauna ja vihta. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. Operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalan piirakka. <laughs> Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Well, I need to get back to it. What'd you find there, Stephen? Uh, nothing. Just something that shouldn't be here. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. Foons my ass. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I, not the kind of disappearance we normally saw. Our crime scene's drowning. I never minded rain. Feels like cold. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake, in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Good eye. After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? What do you make of all of this? Hmm. <sighs> The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, learn what this ritual is. Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case? On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you.
Hey, Casey. What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the ridiculous... A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. Tracks lead into the water. Where'd you go from here? I can feel something. A presence. Nightingale isn't far. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. She couldn't quite place it. Something... Long forgotten, she tried to hold on to it, but it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them, pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality, heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos, a shoebox, a mop and a bucket, a poster on the wall, and in the cabinet, another manuscript page. Light is the key to stay safe, but for something more to be revealed as well. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place. And the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle.
I need to find the witch's hut. This is the witch's hut. Anderson, I thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay. I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. The fuse box is missing a fuse. I need to find one to turn on the lights. This fuse is busted. This one looks good. People should really stop littering, though. page making progress the image of the witch in the sign saga addressed the witch the smudged line on the heart the second part recited from memory i brought you the heart witch show me the terror saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign Page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. <laughs> to get into the overlap. I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? Colchester in the 
He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? While they played cards in the general store, the witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. I need to check the general store for the heart. Casey! I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. Saga edged toward the broken door, her gun ready, flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown, left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They had been here, waiting, planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the General Store, like it was just another late-night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist. A hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night. Wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask. An axe in his raised hand.
text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. Sounds literary, but what does it mean? Found the heart in the fridge, just like the page said I would.
brought you the Heart Witch. Show me the terror. solo. Logan? Logan! Where are you? What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. Would you please help me? What was that? Wait. Did I get turned around? No, this is right. This place is looping. Like a nightmare. He's here, Nightingale.
again. Get away! In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Hey. Are you okay? No, no! It's my fault! He cut out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... he's changed the story. The d dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13? Anders, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. A crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Alex Casey, 
How? Am I still... Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. It's a bit of a hike through the car, Wake. Should look around. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap to Nightingale. A locked box. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Notes and ammo. Looks like they're tools of the trade. Cult doesn't see their victims as people.
Delta is leaving supplies around for themselves. There's something written here. A poem? Or a riddle? Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. A little clothespin doll. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan.
creepy dolls, mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. Something feels different. I should look around. A charm. Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Huh. That was strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lord. those rhymes. Rest easy, buddy.
a weird feeling something's changed. What is this? Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Another charm for my bracelet. We've reached the car, Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. More of those kids' lunchboxes.
Saga was sure she had hit the Taken in the head, but had not even slowed the monster down. She took aim and fired again. Another headshot. This time, the Taken staggered. There's a rhyme over here. Hmm. charm. Good thing Logan made me this bracelet.
Another locked box. box. The Taken was momentarily out of action, but not for long.
less monsters. Ready to go? Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's a... Uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now.
Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. If they'd be in danger, it'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Oh, fuck me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's... It's... It's a crazy jumble, like a... Like a nightmare. I, it doesn't... It doesn't make sense. with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? Sorry, does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. Okay. You got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, I uh, sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. <laughs> uh, well, 
played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? No, but seriously, I found the, uh, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. Reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. Uh, this is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this Hero's Journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. <laughs> All this talk of meta narratives. I'm expecting to disappear once this scene ends. <gasps> Hello? I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home. To Alice. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. Gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? What's that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out.
studio with me. I had to get out. place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. A plot board for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far, but other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. to write more. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. series. And of course we have Alan Wake here. The best selling writer of the books the films are based on. Let's do this! Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? Uh, he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh... What's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well... 
In that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Casey. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp, shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. That's great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? Hello? evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> what do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up a man's a man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Egony. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. 
Here's the key. Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed, like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming, the bulb glowed. It held the light now. surge from the lamp. I could use it again.
The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. I needed to find another way out. to draw me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. I dive to the body to find the answer, the map, the, the, the key, the compass, that's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean that's not an ocean, and a lake? That's not a lake. phone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Hello? Hello, Wake? Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? <laughs>
Caldera Street station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. was dead in my hand. I needed to find a light for it. get in. I was missing something. Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey. I'm looking into a murder. Come on, what... What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim?
Hello, Casey. I needed that light. I remember dying in this alley in a dream I had. He was just gonna keep killing me here, loop by loop. You're not gonna get what you want. You think you know. You know shit. You don't really wanna know. You're gonna get what's coming to you. I needed his gun and flashlight to protect myself. This was an echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. Right now, I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. There was something hidden here. Light would reveal it. The phrase repeated over and over. The words resonated with meeting. Had I written this? in darkness now, lest the shadows go away. Use the light to open the subway entrance now.
to wash away the sins of this city. <laughs> but some sins, the evidence of the crimes committed, could never be erased. Not by the rain, or any amount of therapy from Dr. Jack Daniels. It remained bruises under my skin, like tattoos. Bruises in my soul. Scar tissue on my heart. The rain never stopped falling. And I never stopped drinking. I had written books about Alex Casey for years. Something lingered here. A line from a half-forgotten story. Hello? Oh. Hey, Alan. You snuck up on me. Sorry. Have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map, if you want to take a look. I still haven't found my mystery man, though. You're making a map. Trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light, but never the one thing that I'm looking for. Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. I appreciate the help. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is a name. Warlandor. The talk show host? No. No, that doesn't sound like him. The guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. <laughs> well, that's my crazy wall. I'm just... Trying to make sense of things. Don't judge me. I'll trade you walls any day. around, Alan.
to tear into you the second you let your guard down. You thought you had it tamed. That you knew what the hell you were doing. Your last mistake. Unless you got lucky. And you didn't deserve to get lucky. You blinked at the wrong time, let your mind wander. And the fire escape that was meant to be your getaway route was gone. It was never there at all. You'd gotten turned around somewhere along the way. The city was coming to finish you off, and there was nowhere left to run. Wait.
tried to wash away the sins of this city. The city was a monster.
was safe. But the restless shadows would return. Gates to the platform were closed. I had a ticket.
the door wouldn't budge. Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered here. A half-forgotten memory. An echo. Something was here, a vision about to reveal itself. I needed to look at it from the right angle. An FBI agent had come here before me on the trail of a murder cult. He'd gone missing, presumed dead. The cult was leaving me clues to follow, connecting the dots from one murder to the next, inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional detective. A story thread I could use in my writing. I had a location. I had a story thread. I would put them together, write them into my story to create a path deeper... The dark place reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. The Fed had glimpsed into the Maw of Darkness. It swallowed him whole. The tracks led into the tunnel. The blood trail continued deeper into darkness.
The tunnels were a maze. The blood trail led me on. Another place to use in this story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. I had a new idea for a scene. I changed the story. And with that, the dark place changed. Sacrifice. Anyone who gets involved with the cult, they're next. I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake, their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. The federal agent had come here looking for answers. All he found was a fate worse than death. Another echo lingered here, a source of inspiration. in the story this way but I was desperate and it felt right for the story Thank you. 
had to be at the scene, to see and understand it, in order to change it. I was making my way deeper into the story. I could imagine this murder cult performing their macabre acts beyond the collapsed tunnel. The cultists laid the Casey novel onto the altar with reverence. Their twisted Bible. The water was gone. The way forward was open. The train blocked my way forward, but it was here for a reason. It had a role to play. The plot element I found would drive the story forward. The story thread felt right here. The cult poured the gasoline over the train car. An iron cage that would soon become a coffin. Hello? Anyone there? Dead.
This is where the history of the cult gets genuinely disturbing. The cultists track down the torchbearers living in the tunnels. They lock the poor folks up in a derailed subway car, douse it in gasoline. Yeah. Charming. It turns into a bit of a ghost story after that. They say the dark smoke from the fire still roams the tunnels searching for new victims to devour. There are no happy endings in this city. The story thread felt important. I could use it in one of the scenes I found. The new story beat fit the story perfectly. subway car had become a burning I could get through it now. My path was blocked. I had to find a way through. The lights would help me. The echoing hall had a story to tell. The new scene I had found was important for the story.
leads into the murder cult's hideout. something here that made him run scared. Whether the summoning ritual had been a bona fide supernatural event or the mass psychosis of stark raving lunatics, it didn't change the facts. The cult was messing with things no one should mess with. The ritual was a vital part of the story, the key to reaching the murder site.
The drifters had scrawled their symbol on the wall. A secret for those in the know. presence. It was gone. The tunnel was open now. I could get through. Before. I remembered now. It was always out there, hunting me.
Who are you? She can hear me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. This is Alan Wake. I'm trapped here. The dark place. Under Cauldron Lake. Not Cauldron Lake. Who are you? I'm trying to escape. I'm making progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please, help me. I could sense it. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed outside Parliament Tower, where I had lived with Alice. It was out there, waiting for me. Who was writing who? Who was writing this poem? Me? No. Stepping to the murder site, I'd felt it hanging in the air. A meaning. The violent emotion of the act, like a cloud of wrath. The dead eyes of the victim staring at something you couldn't see, and yet making you aware of it. Something that soaked into this place on a molecular level, overlapping with your meaningless existence. A regression to something you had managed to forget, marking you taking you for a ride, making you crazier. Station had changed. I was closer now. Parliament Tower, our home in New York. Was I really this close to being home? Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. Payphone at the edge of the plaza was ringing again. Hey, Alan. 
Thank God it picked up. I thought I lost you again. Who are you? Why are you helping me? Did you go deeper? To the overlap? Are you talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I... That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. Well, we would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower? To make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello? Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? when the door opens. This is a photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? Is he stalking her? This is the door to my study, where I wrote my books. This symbol wasn't here before. This is video camera. No memory card inside. his memory card. When 
moved to New York thinking I'd make it as an artist. And then I met Alan. We had a good thing. We were both dedicated by our creative ambitions. The only difference was that Alan's work made money. He brought me work when he could. I took his promo shots, um, created covers for his books. I'm sure he forced his publisher into it. I was taking photos, just not my photos. And that gnawed at me. Things got complicated sometimes, but that's life, right? We loved each other. Then, Alan hit a block. I brought out a meaner side of him. One I didn't like. I set up a trip to see a doctor in Washington. I didn't tell him until we got there. We argued. Things went wrong. And he was just gone. Drowned, allegedly. It's easy for people to think it was my fault. Hell, I do, too, sometimes. About six years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. Then it got violent. It was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. He always did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. I'm calling this exhibit The Dark Place. Alice. Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? I sat in the writer's room and wrote a story. 
initiation. To project myself through the dark place. To look for a way out. The story had brought me here brought me nowhere. Look me back. I was writing this story. And in the story, I now stepped into the writer's room. But there was no one here writing. Let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. But your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes, fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when it, when night falls. But last time, it... this will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I can send him back to the dark place, make all this shit go away. Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is it's full of holes, and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It's like it's like it's like a half forgotten dream. Mr. Wake, Alan, we've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I, why are we written into the story? I think I saw you, or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger.
It's insane. And there's so much of it. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm gonna act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter, the next chapter, the next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Wake has a double, Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. Wake just gave us a lot of information. But this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance?
right. Sure. That's not right. Okay, Mr. Wake, I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew a weapon. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. It's all on the page. The clicker. The cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. 
No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. You wrote these pages in the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them up. I remember writing an endless amount of pages. When this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you for your cooperation. I feel bad for these guys. I'm the only one who understands the forces behind this. I can help you. No, that's not how this works. You're a civilian. The only thing you do is right or wrong. Hello, and welcome to Coffee World, voted Washington's best coffee-themed amusement park. All of our attractions are family-friendly and available to children of all ages, just like our coffee. Hello, and welcome to Coffee World, Bo Hold on for dear life on the Espresso Express! Token some local history at the Huatari Well, where two serial killers once hid the disemboweled bodies of their prey victims. It won't so open. <laughs> Come join Mocha Moose and the goats at our amusement park fitting zoo. Just don't share your coffee with the goats. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. Seriously. It's not amusing. Yasko, we're going to a cool guy's house to drink some brewskis. Are you coming? No, Ilmo. I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck and drinking wine like an asshole. Yasko, we're going to a cool guy's house to drink some brewskis. Are you coming? No, Ilmo. Finnish lager, and we drink it the Finnish way. At the bar, while actively avoiding small talk with strangers. Getting blackout drunk on a boat during midsummer, and trying not to drown. 
You were a handsome deer. I need a tool to get this open. Thinking of pre gaming at my place before Deer Fest. Drinks, snacks, Oh no, oh no, oh no! What will become of my birds now? Where will they go? Who will feed them? Fly away, find a happier place. Go oh, while you still can. Yeah, Anderson, I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea, going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true, or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, real funny. The page placed me in a trailer, somewhere in Watery. I should ask around. Okay then, catchy tune. Excuse me. Do you know oh God, where? Hush. Auntie's in the middle of a show. I wonder if I'm the first FBI agent to ever get shushed.
Such a shame. Hello. Do you have a second? Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Uh, Tor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. Ilmo Koskel owns it. He owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You have seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. See you around. Do this time around. There's only so many times I can keep fixing the same thing. Trailer Park. Ilmo Koskela. He's that tour guide we met at Cauldron Lake. I need to find him. Mom's family was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Saunas, lakes. Seems nice. Enjoying the sauna? You bet. The steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. Yeah, I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. I've read that taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Do you think that'd work? You're the professional. Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. Hey, Sarah. A sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a goner. They also say silence is golden. Oof. Hot. 
hot. Saga! Over here! Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. Great to see you back in Watery, Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Is the horror story messing with their memories? So what is Coffee World? You mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose. Until recently. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. So... your commercials? They're more than commercial saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And, uh... Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. Really. Fuck off. I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and, uh, check them all out. Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but, uh... Now it's got him pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it. Hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. Profiling may give me the answers I need. Was humanity really meant to cross this river? Or any Flooding did it. this? Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops, brother. Yako. The shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Light, laughter, and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer.
<sighs> the FBC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. And that always goes well. Wakes says a story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. Trailer Park is a good place to look for a trailer. Keep it simple, Saga. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'd get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Call the gift shop so they can give Saga a hand. Yep. The Costellas think I lived in the trailer park. With Logan. The story really is changing people's memories. Why aren't mine affected? Are... The spare key is a coffee world. First the witches at the diner. Now the Cascellas. They all think Logan and I used to live here. Wake said the horror story would make people crazy. Like they're being brainwashed to believe the story. Is it spreading? There's coffee world. Need to get across the river.
What was that? Fuck! FBI, show yourself! Another rhyme. Huh. What the hell? A charm. There's another cult stash.
Another one of those cult boxes.
we've all seen the FBI setting up shop in town, and I'm sure you're all asking the same question I am. Did they bring all this garbage? More of those rhymes. I can use this charm on my bracelet.
there's another lunchbox. Another one of those lunch boxes. The report of the shotgun rang in the air. The enemy fell. Saga felt a surge of new energy. She'd been dead tired before, but was ready for more.
Hello? Anyone here? Nope. Did they get out? Did the Taken get them? Or were they turned into Taken? I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. Ilmo said the key is kept in the gift shop safe. with. A list of maintenance work. A screwdriver. Huh. Jesus! <laughs> Calm down, Saga. It's just a pot of coffee. Have a beautiful day. Okay, then.
This should get that gift shop open. That's safe. Locked. Okay. What would Ilmo use for a code? Coffee World. The most caffeinated place on Earth. And yet nobody's here to help me get that key. Using screwdrivers to break into gift shops isn't exactly standard procedure. Coffee World staff. Hope they're not all monsters now. The photos have stickers on them.
need to open the safe. What's the combination? People hate the puzzle, Zuma. Why not just use keys? People love the puzzles, Yaku. Only very smart people can think up good puzzles. Just look around and you will find the answer. Dedicated staff will be rewarded. The combination to the safe is somewhere in the gift shop. I bet Ilmo is the kind of guy who likes Sudoku's. The keys to my trailer. Now to find the clicker and the colt. Another cult stash?
When you ask, Marisetta will speak. Must be locked from the other side. Oh, my God. 
Another Alex Casey lunchbox? The page said I'd run into a cultist here. On your toes, Saga. Marcetter is not afraid of the rough questions. for the Anderson trailer? What? Sweetie pie, right on time! Like we were just saying, it's not true. The lies to hurt you and make you weak. Don't believe a word. They believe because deep down, they want to be told what to think. We're different. Rebels! You must stop it before it turns real. Don't be part of the story. Make the story. <laughs> stop the hell of it! <laughs> These old drunks don't seem affected by the horror story like the other locals are. Do they know what's happening here? How do you know about the story? Same as you, of course, sweetie pie. We are family. The Andersons. Vikings. Gods. So good to finally see you, Saga. I am your great uncle Odin. And this is your long lost Murfar. Tar! Soka. He is your grandfather, and I am the old father! <laughs> hmm. 
Just as crazy as everyone else. Just as caught in it. I need to stay focused. I need to check out the trailer. You have things to do, sweetie pie. We don't want to keep you from your business. You can come see us anytime. At our resting place. More of those kids' lunch boxes. That's a good deer. Floats created by the award-winning team at Calavala Knights Motorcycle Club. Winners of last year's trophy for best deer fest float featuring an animal that is not deer. That very team. And you're gonna get a kick out of our latest float design. We've done it all. Deer fest floats, restaurant floats, floats shaped like things we can't show on television. Our votes are the best way to impress your friend. Propose to your partner or throw shade at an office colleague. And we don't do just deer fest. Our floats are a perfect gift for weddings, birthdays, bar mitzvahs, or your katakana search. Maria. Our votes will punch up any special occasion. <laughs> but why take our work for it? Let's hear it from one of our many, many happy customers. Uh -huh. Your name is Anderson? Same as you, kiddo. Tor Anderson? Odin Anderson. The old guards of Asgard. That's our band. You're... You are Saga Anderson, goddammit. A Viking goddess. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Tor. Odin. Saga. All Norse-inspired. Plus the same last name. A coincidence? Did the horror story change their names to match mine? Have you seen any strange people in deer masks? I haven't drunk enough for that yet. You can see all sorts of wonderful things when you make your way down the bottle. Even more so with just one eye. Okay. Never mind. So, do you know where the Anderson trailer is? Right behind us. We've been looking after it since you left. Uh-huh. Thanks for your help. Anytime, kiddo. It looks like you two have had a bit too much fun. She sees right through us, bro. She has the power. This calls for a fucking celebration. Our little saga all grown up and finally home. Sure, we've had a few sips. Just a taste. The famous Anderson moonshine. Oh, the nectar of the gods. You want some? No, thanks. Reeks of booze. A pun book from Ilmo. Are we close in the story? That might explain some of his behavior. 
Did I leave the Bureau in this fictional reality? Addressed to me from years ago. Wake was right. The horror story is changing reality, not just people's memories. This card has mom's handwriting. Everything here reminds me of Logan. This could be her room. This is getting too real. Too personal. The Nordic Tales book Mom gave to Logan when she was little. Bon. Logan used to love her music. Logan's junior agent certificate. So cute. My newfound relatives, cozy with the cult of the tree. And that's the clicker, in the hands of the cult, just like the page promised. Carly Vala Knights. That's the motorcycle club the Costello brothers are in. I'll take Odin and Tor up on their offer and visit their nursing home, right after I find this biker workshop. Mulligan is a cultist? What the fuck is going on here? The cult of the tree! Thornton too? God damn it! And now they're all taken?
another lunchbox. No, that is not going on the board. Okay. Hmm. Doesn't look right. it. Doesn't make sense.
think. Think Saga. In one fluid motion, Saga cracked open the shotgun, sending the empty hull... Locked. They must be in there. There has to be a way to get this lock open. This is the cult hideout. Their headquarters, even? There's a basement. A fuse. Could come in handy. process their ritual the cult isn't well organized people aren't following orders the nightingale ritual wasn't completed the cult is leaving supplies around for themselves This will be handy. That's it.
a creepy basement. here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there, taken the clicker, left this monster here to stop her. There's an overlap here, like there was at Cauldron Lake. Mulligan and Thornton, a light nightingale. Inside, waiting. And a parade float is the key. A taken is upstairs. This was a trap. Mulligan and Thornton have the clicker. It's in another overlap. Here in Watery. The clicker was there the whole time. Fucking Mulligan and Thornton. They took the clicker into the overlap. How do I get it back? Mulligan and Thornton were fine earlier. How did this happen? A terrible mistake. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Shadows on their faces, filling the shape of them. Bright Falls fucking finest. Shitty pastrami sandwich. Mulligan and Thornton became like Nightingale. Mulligan and Thornton are members of the cult. Who's the leader? Brains leaking out like ilk. The thrill of domination. Not one tree. The forest. The word. A secret like this doesn't die. There is more than one leader.
Okay. Now where's that parade float? I need bolt cutters. Another cult box. Hey, stop right there. The shape stumbled out of the dark toward Deputy Mulligan.
Is this the parade float the page mentioned? The overlap formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. At Cauldron Lake, giving the poem and the heart to the witch sign opened the overlap. Here, it's the parade float. But it's incomplete. The photo proved the cult had the clicker. Thor and Odin were in it too. Worth following up on later. What's missing from the parade float? I need to put it together. This is one disturbing parade float. Not sure what Puko means, but it looks like the knife is missing. How come one of them is wearing a mask and the other isn't? I don't hear any haunting laughter. Stabbing again and again. That must mean the arm's supposed to move. So this is the Coscula Brothers parade float. Looks like only four pieces are missing. The mask is the only one without a location listed. Hmm. Gift shop. Easy. Espresso Express. Got it. Fair trade fun zone. I can't make out what it says. Nope. Should the characters be moving? Is missing a soundtrack? Float killer isn't wearing a mask. Maybe he needs one. I figured out what the float is missing.
The materials listed for the parade float mention a mask. Where is it? Poor Mocha Moose. He never failed to amuse me. No, we know, Ilmo. There is such a thing as too much coffee. Mocha will live on in a place of honor. He lost his head. Mulligan and Thornton had one job. Mulligan and Thornton must know where the Moose Skull Mask is. The mask is missing. Where is it? The dead brought back to life. The crown of the Grand Master. Moose steak is never a mistake. Just get it fucking done! They know where it is. I know they know. Where is the mask? Don't let him bleach it. We all bow to him. The mark of the crumbling well. Show the bitch who's mark! The moose mask is at the Huatari Well, in Coffee World. I saw something. Like I did in Cauldron Lake. The well, here in Coffee World. I know the Moose Skull will be there. Now I need to bring the mask to the float. Moose Skull goes here, obviously. The fuse is missing. Can't operate the ride without it. There we go. Now I just need to stop it in a position that will let me get to that circuit board down there.
I guess a toy knife will do. Thank God. A little something to get those arms moving. Some creepy laughing for atmosphere. There's your knife.
crack your skull like a brittle egg. The story is trying to take Logan. I can still stop this. I need the clicker. Anderson, he tricked me. He has it now. Wake? I saw him this way in the other overlap. It's a loop. Just like before. get through that. I need to look for another way through.
Trapped how? What does that mean?
already out. So is Scratch. Silvis, stop us out of making progress. I wrote to be the story's hero. Save her family. Save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes, yes. You know it's working. You just need to keep going. Did you put my family in the horror story? I keep seeing him in overlaps, but he's already out. Are these visions coming from the past, when he was still trapped in the dark place? I have the clicker. I can stop this nightmare. Wake said he could use the clicker to undo the horror story. I need to get back to Bright Falls, to Casey and Wake. I should check in with Casey. I need something to cut this. Come on, Casey. No answer. David. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Hey, this is David. Leave a message. David, can you call me back, please? It's urgent. Please. Why isn't David answering? Is Logan all right? How does this all work? Has the horror story already gotten her? Wake should know. The flooding's lowered. I should look around, see what the water was hiding. Another locked box.
local clock designer, Terry Feldman. Terry, how are we today? Hey there, Pat. You're in just fine. I'm a super big fan of the show. What a treat to be on with you today. <laughs> the pleasure's all mine. Something special for Deerfest. Tell us about that. There's another lunchbox. I don't have the key. Oh, another rhyme. Right.
I'm getting quite the charm collection. Another one of those rhymes. That's it. Oh, <sighs> 
I'm gonna need a bigger charm bracelet. There's a rhyme over here. Okay. Okay, then. Another charm. Good job, Saga. Now keep moving. on greener pastures now.
another rhyme. Yeah. A charm. Perfect for my bracelet. More of those rhymes.
Makes sense. Jesus. Lots of charms lying around here. Another one of those cult boxes. Mayor Seta will stand up for justice.
I need to get the clicker to wake and close this damn case. Before my family gets dragged any further into it. Hmm. Think Saga.
so quiet now. Alan Wake. <laughs> My name comes up, your books come up, you come up. I've read them. There are echoes of my life in there that makes me feel like someone's been watching me. What happened to Alan Wake? The unanswered mystery. Never expected to find you alive. Oh, my head's killing me. I think you like using people, Wake. Taking their lives and twisting them into your stories. And when someone gets hurt, it's kick-ass material for the next one. Shit! Spilled my coffee. Take it you're not a fan, then, Agent Casey. This is not your playground, and I'm not your fucking creation. It doesn't work that way. You can't make something out of nothing, even in the dark place where the rules hardly apply. It's very complicated to make fiction come true. I saw visions of what's happening, what will happen. Dreams. I try to use them in my writing. I understand how dangerous it is now. Even with a paralyzing amount of planning. I think I stopped writing. I think I gave up. But there's a manuscript. Maybe I forgot not to write. The dark place makes you forget. just want to fix this. Find a version of the story that fixes everything. Shut up! Get down! FBI! We want the writer! No one else needs to get hurt! Fuck off!
I had escaped the dark place. So had the dark presence. Scratch. He was here, in Bright Falls. I could feel him as a growing pressure in my head. Stronger by the minute. Why didn't he kill me with the rest? What did he want? I gotta get out of here. I needed to find Casey. We were on the same side in this fight. Strength in numbers. That's Casey. He was still alive. These were the cultists the FBI were after. Were they letting me the Or did the Dark Presence not discriminate?
pressure eased off, Scratch was further away. I could think again. Casey. Casey, I'm coming! Fuck. investigation. The case has been transferred to us. This is bullshit. Noted. We're moving the evidence and paperwork from your field office to our base of operation at the sheriff's station. Any other pieces of evidence with you? Anything relevant? The clicker. I can't trust them with it. Nothing comes to mind. Okay. Then your work here is done. Hey. You did well. Wait! My partner, Agent Casey's MIA. We'll look for He's him. He's my partner, damn it! Agent? Be Go home. Careful, moving weak. They think he's a para-utilitarian. No. Fuck this. I was so close to getting the clicker to wake. I'm not done here. Not until I find Casey. Not until my family is safe from this horror story. It stopped me. I would write a new draft of initiation to reach Parliament Tower using another murder site. Scratch was reaching out from the dark place to get Alice. She was out. Forgotten. I knew how this worked now. I could take control, no more surprises. What demons he wrestles with in the dark hours of the night. Together with our house band, the divine old gods of Asgard, we have created something very special. The song is called Herald of Darkness, and I'd like to call this next segment the story of the journey of Alan Wake, the musical. Just do what we always do. We'll chat, but instead of talking, we'll sing it!
From what I've gathered, you grew up nice and sheltered with mama's pretty stories and your own made up fury. And mama gave me a magic clicker. Well, yes, I think it's true and fair to say. And chilling thrillers of hard-boiled killers became bestsellers. It was all too much. I had to get away. That meets the eye I never meant for it to ruin my life that way Who just say you let the jaded lie Dark shades could never save the day So sad But true
same before him And maybe they'd be happy once again Just one shot, one more chance For him to save their marriage Away from the city A romantic getaway
That was interesting. A vision. dark place am I trapped in here? Is this real? I cannot remember. There was a manuscript that held a key. A vicious cycle I must not surrender to. Echo seems to seek out again and again until I figure it out to bring this song to its end. I thought this place couldn't get any stranger. It was all about me. This performance the Dark Place was putting on. But I had no control over it. I knew how utterly lost I was. The payphone was ringing again. The mystery caller was back at it. I had to find out more. Could I? Whoa! There's that famous temper. Lucky thing I'm not a paparazzi. You keep jerking me around, refusing to tell me who you are. You remember? You... Oh, fuck me. Alan, 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 listen, listen. Uh, tell me, how much do you remember? Did you visit Parliament Tower? Did you find anything there? Yeah. Alice? is in danger. Scratch is reaching out to her and there, there's another manuscript. Not initiation, return. I saw the title page. I, I don't remember writing it. Return? Oh man, this is what we're after. The Scratch
just can't have it. Our, our survival, the survival of the fucking cosmic everything depends on this. Come to me. Ocean View Hotel. I left my room key for you. It's right there on the payphone. Remember, the dark place works in lobes and rituals. If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. We go with the flow of this ocean. Catch you soon, brother. The Ocean View Hotel. A suspicious invitation to a shady meeting. Right on the money for the hard-boiled genre the whole city was built upon. delivered me back to the street. What did the mystery caller said? If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. With only dream logic to lead me to the hotel, I look to the neon signs for guidance. before it was too late. Too late again.
I could use that shotgun. Barman, you caught my eye. was empty except for the projector. More games. Was the film a message waiting to be played?
temple of shadow and mist. There's a window in the floor and a door in the ceiling. There's no knowing, am I standing still or running or kneeling? You're the one who's been calling me. Indeed. I'm Tom Zane. Welcome to the House of Zane. The poet. The diver. You look like me. How the hell... Or maybe you look like me, you handsome devil. The diver was a beloved character I played in one of my films. I'm a filmmaker. A celebrated auteur. I need answers. Why is return so important? What... Ah. <laughs> you always get worked up like this. Come on, I'll fix you a drink. We're in this together. Two artists collaborating, remember? Crafting the keys to our escape. Your magnum opus, Return, and its, its companion piece, my film. Sharing our, our life-altering visions, a, a melding of higher minds. Dreaming up our transcendental work of art. Here, in this room. 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 In this It's return, because we return. And that is how the magic happened. Enough of this bullshit. Alice is in danger. I need another murder site to go further. Back to Parliament Tower. Scratch is... Your wife is safe back in the real New York. But Scratch is reaching for her through an overlap. Return is the key to escaping the dark place. You need to get it before that freak does. <sighs> There's a murder site here in the hotel. Let the waves of your riding carry you there. <sighs> They're all yours. If anyone asks, you were never here. Thomas Zane had ended our talk in what felt like a paranoid fit. I had what I needed from him. There was another murder site in the hotel. To guide me further toward my escape, I had to write my way to it. An idea nagged at me. I could almost reach it. Whispers from the police radio kept me awake at night. The word through the ether. A murder in the backdrop of a play featuring a murder cult. <laughs> How meta can you get, he said, looking knowingly at the camera. I could sense the cult of the word in this, and their leader, Mr. Scratch. Rumored to be Alan Wake, the writer who'd gone missing years before. The hotel was a perfect setting for a Casey story. I was on the right path. I would start at the entrance lobby. The entrance hall set the mood where everyone had come in. The victim, the murderer, the detective. An idea, clear as a vision, waited for me here.
director of this play? Yeah, that's me. Our performance of the cult was cursed from the pre-show ritual on. The cult is an immersive theatrical experience. Uh-huh. You're gonna have to walk me through what that means. Immersive theater. A play where the audience can participate. Spread across this... of this play? Yeah, that's me. Our performance of the cult was cursed from the pre-show ritual on. The cult is an immersive theatrical experience. Uh-huh. You're gonna have to walk me through what that means. Immersive theater. A play where the audience can participate. Spread across this hotel. The cult is a legend. The only written copy of the manuscript lost, the play is passed on as oral tradition between theater companies. Each company only performs it once. The play was said to have special power. You were like kids playing with a Ouija board. And when you call for the devil, he will come. The pre-show ritual, that's it. Set it up, start from the beginning. Solving the crime and creating it. As every did. Oh, <laughs> layers upon layers. A play about a murder cult infiltrated by a real murder cult. where the pre-show ritual was held. The room had been changed from room 104 to room 225. The troop were busy building their own wicker man, where they themselves would be sacrificed.
shit, shit! It was locked from the other side.
This is where they gathered before the play. This is where it began. That changed the story. And with that, the dark place changed. Another vision. Why set up a play in a hotel? Why this hotel? Because the rent is cheap? No. The ocean view was perfect for this. It's said to be haunted. Dark stories about murder, death, suicide. Supposedly, an actual cult once performed an unspeakable ritual to summon something in the ballroom. Did we summon the same thing? Tapped into something horrifying? It, it seemed like it was part of the play, but it wasn't. Does that sound crazy? You don't want to ask me about crazy, kid. A haunted hotel, yes. That's a trope for a reason.
Tim Breaker. In case you don't remember again. I know, Tim. I'm remembering more now. It's good to hear, man. How's your search for Mr. Door going? It's not great. This dream we're in. Putting a lot of roadblocks in my way. So you think this is a dream? I'm not ruling it out. You know, my dreams have always been incredibly vivid. They feel real until the second I wake up. You know, the dreams, I'm often someone else. A different person with a different name, living a different life in, in a different world. Alternate realities, maybe. But certain things don't change. Like Tor. The sketch you have does look like the door I know. The talk show host. All I know is the door has something to do with what's happening to me. And he knows that I know. He's like some sadistic mastermind torturing me. The ballroom would be the stage of a key scene in the play. The cult in the play was called the Cult of the Tree. With their deer masks, they were the backwoods echo of the cult of the words urban horror.
getting real, all right. I recognized my writer's room on the stage. I almost dreaded the ideas this would conjure up. I said you got here. What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. <gasps> the devil was our star role. I got a big time celebrity to play him. And he was method acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the posters. Mm -hmm. And who was this mystery celebrity? Let me guess, Alan Wake? I wish I could tell you, but turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was, shit got weird when he was around. Some of the crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. Mm, Mr. Scratch is the devil. He was born to play the role. I had to agree with Casey on that. dark, but the story had to be dark.
almost faded back into darkness. I felt the presence of a new idea here. Mr. Scratch, if that's who the actor playing the devil was, had stayed in the hotel. Asking around at reception and got me a room number. Hmm. 666. He had requested that room, specifically. The devil had a sense of humor. Or he really didn't. It was funny either way. According to the director, the actor hadn't mingled with the rest of the cast. He had only come out for the play. And always in character. sense his presence lingering in the room. I was about to have another killer idea. Okay, let's talk about the murder victim. The lady who was killed in the climax of the... Okay, let's talk about the murder victim. The lady who was killed in the climax of the play. The leading lady. Oh, it was an honor to get to work with her. A grand dame for sure. She went back a long time. Kept insisting she had seen the long lost original script of the play. She'd been with this mysterious writer, his muse. That was her role in the play. The muse. She was staying in room 108, where the murder happened. The set of the final scene, right. The devil comes, an unstoppable force crashing through the hotel through each scene, executed with devastating mastery, and all leading up to him, meeting his muse. 
turns out he knew her. He'd only joined the plea to get to her. To murder her. The dark presence had come for me, drawn to the story I was writing as it grew darker. This was the murder victim. The final scene took place in room 108. This was the murder site. There was a record at the bottom of the bathtub, beneath the body. Some... Another step. Somehow I was closer to home. Closer than ever before. It's you again. The FBI agent. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel 
feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wait. Are we are still trapped. We have the clicker. We can feel the images. You know about the clicker. It can help us. I destroyed the Dark Presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. You must find it. I can get it to you. I have to understand. Did you write another story? Alice is in danger. I have to stop Scratch. I have to find Return. I need to get back to my apartment. I'm writing a story to get through. Initiation. It's the only way. It's a story. You can do that, Rebecca. You can write out... It lasted only for a moment, like two planets passing in orbit. Saga Anderson was helping me, helping me go deeper, closer to escape. Somehow, I had to trust her. Parliament Tower. I had to get back to my apartment, my study. I had to find the manuscript of return. here again zane said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping i had to get it before scratch did chosen me for some unknowable purpose. To be a demon. To sort the clues based on my interpretation. To change that which I observed. It was all a play. Shadows on the wall of the cave. An echo of the true events that happened somewhere else. Was I there to watch the shadows, or was I a shadow too? In a performance set up for someone else.
Alice had turned the bathroom into a dark room. I needed to get inside the manuscript. Alice's work had consumed the apartment, her I whole life. The shock, the, the guilt, fear. I can barely get out of bed. One morning, I saw a deer soar past my bedroom window. It was a, a balloon of some cartoon animal. And I looked out at the street below, and I saw a little girl crying. Like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world. It was the perfect image. The horror of caring. And that's when I got myself out of bed. And I picked up my camera. There was something in the dark, something I needed to see, to show. The more shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. in the shadows. Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be that... that vast, paralyzing ocean. But photography... can freeze reality in a snapshot, put a cage around the infinite and capture it. I need to prove those faces are really there.
the full manuscript of a novel. Return. A horror story about the dark presence escaping from the dark place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Scratch. A monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out, people would die. Destroying the manuscript, it wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it, edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in. Try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. said we worked on Return together. That was a lie. Scratch wrote Return. I would pay Zane another visit. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation. Thor and Odin claim to be my family. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. The less I knew about him, the better. Saga? What's up? 
Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh, the, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry. They had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um... Sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. <laughs> you say that like it's your first time here. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? like another perfect morning in paradise. I agree, Ilmo. A perfect morning for me to drink this coffee I'm holding. Oh shit, this coffee is shit. Old gods of Asgard. So Odin and Tor had abandoned everything. It's the Bright Falls blended organic coffee from Old Deer Diner. Oh, wow. I've heard that the health benefits of this coffee include... Last year. Here's some of our residents, or as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone. Norman, clothes. Norman, we have a visitor. Where are your clothes? I'm, I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. <sighs> Just another day in Valhalla. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Tor and Odin are here somewhere. Need to find them. Ati, this is your home. You don't need to keep cleaning. I take that mop away, but I know you'll just find it again. Girl, girl, what a once after being told no. Why rest when you are poor to work? <laughs> Uh, and you know Mr. Blum doesn't like it when you take his work clothes. Why don't you go pick a song from the jukebox? Yes, box holy ray. Just thinking about it makes my dance boot waggle. <laughs> Look at that, I know. <laughs> for staff only.
Very old. I shouldn't the interrupt him. The government built a bunker here during World War II to watch the ocean for Axis navies and who knows what else. Ever since they sealed the bunker, it's been a hot spot for teens. The Ocean View Motel and Spa, they call it. Ironically, I believe. They go there to enjoy their beer and their vapes and electronic cigarettes. Ridiculous. The future is... <clears throat> So, the teens would drink there. Do other stuff that isn't appropriate content for you listeners at home. But the bunker has a tendency to flood, especially during the winter. And at night, a, a group of teens went down there one Saturday night without a little bunker than usual. Dean noticed one girl, Nora Hesler, was missing. They didn't. She just went home. And Nora's folks didn't. They're all so soft and sad. This is Tor's room. More moonshine. Was this a drunken rampage? This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. Odin's in bad shape. He was drunk and watery. Or is this something more serious? Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> Odin Abison? Can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? He's in no shape to talk. Odin's in rough shape. What happened to him? These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. 
Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind plays more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind plays even baffles me. Is this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy. But we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years. But we already have our band. And those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Tor and Odin. I'm starting to see it too. You said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him, and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? Not sure I have a choice. is not okay. Something is definitely going on here. woman in the painting looks like mom. Was I born here? Or is this more of the story?
Excuse me, miss, but you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? I thought not. Sorry. Don't mind me. And now I have to start over. Always dreamed of seeing New York in a fancy hotel. You said I'd been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident. Oh, fuck this. My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's useless. I need to stop the story. Tor's in the wellness center, isn't he? No, he's... Well, yes, but you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. It's just... There's some things that, uh... <sighs> yes, okay, I'll let you in. Thank you, Rose. Hello there, Saga Anderson. Hey, Basin, name won't make the man worse. Even a Swedish name. I'm Arti. Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only prime comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers, old gods of Asgard. My pals, the Birkele Vikings. Were you in the band? Minäkö? No, no. Perkele, saatana, en ollu en. Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach. But uh, we have shared a stage or two. Do either of you know where I could find Tor and Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs. But your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. Was Tor hurt badly? He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say stuff like that. That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? 
Oh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crude remark from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. Mandy Man Norman said Tor is hurt. Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean the little bump on his noggin? It's nothing. The residents like to exaggerate. Uh-huh. I need to check Tor's room. Watch out for puddles. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. That lady is a walking red flag. Tor is being targeted. He needs help. He's hurt pretty bad, but he tore off his bandages. Why? Tor was here.
electric lock. Looks like it's controlled remotely. door needs a knob. A security computer. Needs a password. And a warrant, technically. But hey, desperate times. The Koskala brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. Day, then month. He uses European formatting. And the doors are open.
Need to catch up with Tor. This must have been Tor's. There's an overlap here. Did Cynthia pull Tor in? What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why?
Rose watched Tora go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Figured all this out already. So this goes here, and that goes there. Keep trying. Rose, um, Wake has returned. <gasps> oh. My. God. <laughs> You're the hero! You're here to save Alan! <sighs> I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Tor and Gale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. Saga jabbed the Selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. 
The page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion. Raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize. To your mother, Freya, and to you. Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you. Even if it broke your grandfather's heart. And mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? Think. That's it. The page says the record will open the overlap. Or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story? You all should stay out here a while. Until it's safe. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. Is there anyone who didn't show up? A few. 
Artie, Gail, Cynthia. If oh. they aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just that Tor won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing, and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some water, Norman. Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. Hello there. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Love your show, though. Very informative. Mm, thank you. Never compromise on quality. That's my motto. We'd be happy to have you on the show any time, me and my listeners. Mandy May, are you all right? You're bleeding. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, no, Mandy May. Oh, oh no! Oh, don't be a crybaby, Norman. It's nothing. I just poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket. Anga's remorse. This is the one. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it.
Ursa's remorse is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor. Bro. Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it. To ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another, and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has torn the overlap. Anga's remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with the nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The Dark Presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Where is Angus Remorse now? She is a young girl in love. A rock and roll bleeds it. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An on of death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Angus Remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. An old folks care home. The Angus Remorse record is in Cynthia's room. In her bathtub. A bathtub, a pond, a lake. There's a theme here. Cynthia took the record and I brought it back. Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. But I like his shoes. How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man, and he will show his ways. <laughs> Bloom like to talk.
key fob's no good without power. No use crying in the dark place. What has been has caught. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. But look out. You can never know in which tree the devil sits. The basement. Thanks. Key fob's no good without power.
must be locked from the other side. Power's off. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Fuse could come in handy. There. Power's back on. Is this something they watch on movie night? That looks just like Casey. What the hell is going on?
open. It was Presence uses people's memories, their fears to corrupt them. A power station. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. A lantern. Was Cynthia using it for protection? Did she know about the Dark Presence? I feel like I'm missing some context here. I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Sane. Who is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. In a fancy hotel. Just his imagination. A nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. Or is a romantic, huh? A dam? Was Cynthia into civil engineering?
Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Anger's Remorse, by Old Gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. The song will show me the way. Look in the mirror. Can't whip up my soul. My face forever. Seeking to be forever. The overlap is at the pond. Tor is here, in the overlap. Gotta find him and get the fuck out.
Overlaps require pieces of art to enter. Is that because of the dark places focus on art? Am I going in circles? No power. You man. can't use this. I need to get the power on to use the switch. just disappeared. The light did that? a loop, like the others. I need to reach the center. Cynthia. She's here. A dead end.
Back again. Gotta go deeper. You took Tor. I'm here to take him back. Shadows. I need to get the lights on to reach him. Saga! It's so damn dark down here. I'm underwater! She's got me at the bottom. I don't think I'm gonna make it. It was too late. There must be a way to get the power back on. This is it for me. Wait, what's that?
more. Hold on! Apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here.
Did you write Logan into the story? Wow. He's in danger. I need to get back. I'm writing a story. It's the only way. Then change the story. If this is the past, if this is you still in the dark place, then you can do that, right? You cannot write her in. She's my daughter, goddammit! Logan is in the story. I can get him to change it. I have the clicker. I'll make him change it now. He had no right to do this to Logan. To my family. Tor! Uh, oh, fucking hell. Are you okay? Uh, hey, it took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Uh. Nice attitude. A family trait? Uh, uh, you're right. Sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie pie. <laughs> and I got answers. <laughs> Look in the mirror. The cobweb of my soul. We need to talk. <sighs> Damn right. Lots for me to explain. But not here. The night's got ears. We can have our talk in your head. You have a room there, right? How do you know about that? I'm your grandfather. <laughs> what don't I know? You know about my mind place? How is that possible? We all have the power. Find the truth. Damn right I do. Odin already told you you're a seer. You can gaze into their heads, see the truth. See past the lies. Past this bullshit horror story. Us Andersons aren't bound by it. You can fight it. Don't be the story. Make the story. It's true. I am a seer. I have a power. My mind place is more than I thought it was. This isn't my intuition. I'm seeing their thoughts. Is this why I know the truth about Logan? While everyone else forgot? You said you were my grandfather. If that's true, why wasn't I told about you? You were part of our fucked up family. Way before this horror story. I was a shitty fucking dad to Freya. Your mom didn't deserve that. Not one bit. Things were said and done. Not a day goes by, I haven't regretted it. But that fucking father of yours didn't make things any easier. I know Freya is gone. So I need to apologize to you. I am sorry, Saga. I can see he's sorry. Mom said she didn't want anything to do with my grandfather. And that my father died before I could remember. It all matches. Tor and Odin are part of my family. You said you were my grandfather. Mom wouldn't talk about my father. You knew him? Some doors are better left closed. Your dad was a complicated bastard. 
Always thinking too many steps ahead. That's not how we work. There was trouble, and then he was gone. I didn't handle it well. Freya didn't want anything to do with me after that. I can't blame her. I never knew my dad or my mom's family. So many broken relationships in my past. I won't lose mine. With Logan. With David. I won't stop until they're safe. You said you were a shitty father to my mom. Is that why she left? Freya never looked back. My girl was strong. Freya always thought our powers had a dangerous side. Odin and me did fuck with things that should not have been fucked with. Your mom had common sense. She raised you right. Kept you safe. I'm not surprised she didn't tell you about the Anderson power. She was always protecting me. Whenever I told my mom about my mind place, she called it make-believe. I wish she'd been more honest with me. At least towards the end. I have the clicker. Can I use it to save my daughter? An app? Get your guitar roaring, and your drums crashing. Blow reality's eardrums. Just the light switch isn't enough. It's Tom's story we're dealing with, so he's got to be the one to rewrite it. After that's done, he can flick that switch to bring the whole thing home, baby. I can't use the clicker without Wake. Tom. Meaning Wake. He needs to rewrite the story first. I can't stop the horror story without him. Wake wrote Logan into the story. He had no right to use her like this. There is still time to make him fix it. I won't give him a choice. Right. The way Tor behaved? I'm surprised my mom hung around for as long as she did. But he is genuinely sorry. Wake needs to be the one to rewrite the ending. And I'll need to keep an eye on him.
Thanks for telling me this, Tor. I need to go find Wake. To stop this. The old gods of Asgard will be ready to help. Me and my bro will bring the rock when you need it. Remember, your daughter is alive. Just kept from you by this bullshit horror story. I needed to hear that. Thanks, Grandpa. Kiddo. I'll drag my sorry ass over to home. Do shots at the Anderson Sinus? We'll fix us both up. See you soon, Saga. The FBC is holding Wake at the Sheriff's Station. I need to make Agent Estevez understand. They have Wake, and I have the Clicker. We have to work together to stop this. They think they're so mysterious with their ridiculous masks, children in costumes. the sounds coming from the station. Power's out. Always a good sign. Anyone here? I'm here, in the closet. There's Taken inside. Holding cells. Is that where they're keeping Wake? Door is locked, though. Agent Estevez? Is that you? Anderson? Did I tell you to fuck off? Looks like it's a good thing I didn't. <sighs> Looks like. <laughs> My leg's busted, so I'm gonna need your help. Listen, there is a person out there with you invaded by something that we call the Shadow, and if you a don't- taken. Yeah. I'll handle it. Estevez. That leg doesn't look good. <sighs> Feels even worse. But thanks for saving the rest of me. We should talk. Where is Wake? I know what's going on here. Wake can fix this. Alan Wake is a para-utilitarian. The word's a mouthful, so you know it's serious. 
We have him locked up in the holding cells per protocol. He's connected to the shadow in some way. Have you found my partner, Agent Casey? Yeah, we found him out in the woods. He had a close encounter with the shadow, and it did something to him. Is he okay? He's alive. We took him down to the morgue for an examination. Haven't heard anything since the attack. What happened here? <laughs> Where to fucking start? Ugh. We came to check out a system alert at Cauldron Lake, but it's worse than we could handle. Real boondoggle. The police, my own agents, most were invaded before we could even react. Estevez, I need to see Wake. How do I get into the cell block? Okay. <laughs> Protocols don't mean that much at this point anyway. Don't make me regret this, Anderson. Until the power's back on, the door to the holding cells won't open. There's a fuse box downstairs in the basement. Here. You'll need these keys. Back into the morgue, huh? Fantastic. What did the FBC come here to do? Bright Falls is the site of a recurring altered world event. The shadow is stronger than we expected. We're low on resources, problems at HQ. But we do have equipment for dealing with the shaded threat. We were just caught off guard before we could set it up. I'm sure Sheriff Brake wouldn't mind me borrowing this.
you read me, Anderson? I read you. Have you had our frequency this entire time? Eavesdropping is a big part of the job. But no, I got it from your partner. Anderson, look for a fuse to replace the blown out one in the fuse box. That should get the power going again. Yeah. On it. There's another cult stash. A key? That's new.
Hey, Anderson. Like what I've done with the place. Hmm. Could use a bit more light. Funny. Stay put, Casey. I'll let you know when it's safe. I'm not going anywhere. <clears throat> How are you holding up? Ah, don't give me that worried look, Anderson. It's just a, it's a flesh wound. <laughs> Gave me a chance to have a, a nice chat about ex-wives with uh, Kieran. Uh, Agent Estevez, I mean. Making new friends, huh? I'm jealous. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's the situation on your end? Watery turned out to be a good lead. Found the clicker and the cult. But the horror story is changing reality. Like Wake said it would. Logan, she's, uh... The story claims she died here. But we can stop it. Wait, Saga. What are you, um... Logan is gone. She has been. For a long time. Casey's affected by the horror story, too. I'm fighting for them all now. I'm gonna fix this, Casey. You, Logan, all of it. I just need to get the power back on first. Yeah, give him hell, Anderson. Just remember, some things in life can't be fixed with a light switch. As for the power problem, here. I found a fuse on those poor bastards there. I'll take care of it. What happened at the hotel? Wake was telling the truth about the cult being after him. The thing, the dark presence, it's real, too. I saw it. A fucked up monster cloud. Wake tried to warn me. It knocked me out. FBC found me in the woods later. block now, but the shaded hostels that were in there are on the loose. Thanks for the heads up. Situation is under control, Estevez. Coming back up. Copy.
I'll wait here. Anderson, over here. Behind the counter. Got a little cramped in that closet. What's going on? We had a hell of a time avoiding those taken. Ended up back here. Anyway, I wanted to warn you that we have the Coscula brothers in the cells as well. They're the ringleaders of the cult of the tree. Don't let your guard down. Is the FBC sending any help? <sighs> we were the help. Well, us in the lake house. But we still have bureau gear specifically engineered to fight this threat. It's stored in the back lot. We were setting it up when the Taken interrupted us. We have light arrays, a containment cell, etc., etc. We are not out of this fight yet. What's at the lake house? It's a bureau research facility at Cauldron Lake set up to study the effects of this AWE. When I got into town, I went there for backup. The whole station is lost, taken by the shadow. Lost a lot of agents. Barely got out myself. Wish me luck. According to the luck and probability department, it's statistically bad luck to wish people good luck during a crisis. Thanks. Saga. Fucking FBI, FBC, you government fucks all fucking this up for us. Let us the fuck out. You're the leaders of the cult. You're not going anywhere. Wake will ruin everything. Get rid of him, Saga. You fucking shot me. Typical government stooge. Let me out so I can kill him. That fucker! You come to our town and act like you know what you're dealing with, but you have no fucking idea. Let us out. You can't stop it. None of you can. We can take care of this. We've been preparing for this. Saga... Do you have it? Need the key. I have the clicker. You will fix this. You will save my daughter. Promise me. Yes, I promise. But we're out of time. Hurry! <laughs> Don't fucking give it to him! Get it, get it. He's a fucking monster, Saga! There it is. We've been waiting for you, motherfucker. I'm gonna fucking destroy you!
beginning to be wake. The plan is fucked. Fast, come in. Scratch is here. How do I stop him? Bad news. The containment unit isn't prepped, but the light array should affect him. How do I activate the lights? I can turn them on from here. But you need to prime the three power cores first. The glowing FBC generator cubes. before I could finish my edits to the manuscript. Zane had said we worked on Return together. That was a lie. The scratch wrote Return. I would pay Zane another visit. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation. I don't have time for this, so let's get it over with. Tell me, was this all fake? A show? No one said otherwise, Mr. Wake. It was to indulge you, but we can stop pretending now. Uh, masks come off. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I don't even think you know who's under your mask, but you know how to make things difficult for yourself. All these rules, endless, convoluted loops you insist on going through. You are so lucky, you know. There are so many people helping you. Armies of people. Myself. Your wife. Alice. 
I need to get to her. She's in danger. She is. Because of you. And so is someone important to me, someone you pulled into this. You keep opening doors, peeking in, reaching through to get what you want, and that puts you in my path. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go now. Maybe you will make it through this time. This has gone on long enough. This and our night springs, it was a nice distraction. It's time someone gave me a straight answer here. The next time we meet, the circumstances will be very different. And you would do well to return the favor by playing your part. Or stay out of my way, Mr. Wig. Whatever you say. Door, Zane, the masks were finally coming off. Was it a sign I was closer to escaping? I had no time to waste. That held you close, Tom. But the con was set the cranny in the snow. When the panic is biggest, the help is also near. Door didn't seem happy to see me this time. Hearing the master is the root of wisdom. But don't let the game get you down. He's playing his role. Maybe put him in your films, Tom. Like you have put me. Say <laughs> hi, What films? <laughs> I'm a fan of your masterworks. Uh, there is Tom the Poet, my favorite, and Uerden Uer is the most famous one, of course. And is it true what I hear? That it's coming back to cinema soon? Is there a bottom to this rumor? I need to get back to my apartment. Can you help me? Well, plan is half done. You asked me to make sure you won't forget the... the... the, 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 the light pictures. The photos you artist wife took. Uh, they are waiting in the shoe box in the basement. What you leave behind, you find in front of you. Okay. Thanks, Adi.
won't find Alice's photos in a shoebox. These were Alice's photos. I recognized the style. One showed the clicker sinking into darkness. The other showed a light in the shape of a bullet. They were important, even if I didn't know what to do with them yet. To get to Parliament Tower, I needed to find a murder site. Zane would know where to find one. cruelty performed in the name of occult nonsense. A director wants to control every aspect of the world in their films. Is a cult leader any different? Was Zane just another alias for Scratch? There was a rumor that Wake and Zane had been working on something together. I was gonna get the truth out of Zane with whatever means necessary. Oh, 
Zane's room, 665, was upstairs. The elevator would take me there. Something told me Zane wouldn't be happy to see me this time. I'm in control now. The second you try anything, I will shoot you in the head! Scratch wrote return, not me! You're a fucking liar! You'd given up. You stopped writing. You said it was too dangerous, that, that we didn't deserve to get out. And then he showed up. Scratch. He promised to write. To get me the hell out of here. He was magnificent. A visionary. Turn and left me behind. It's still here, and so is he. I know I fucked up. But you can still catch him before he gets out, before he gets to your wife. And when you get to him, don't hesitate. Kill the bastard for what he did to us. There's a murder site in my cinema. Where my film Nightless Night is playing. I told you not to try anything. Zane had given me a ticket to the movie theater. Poet's Cinema. The next murder site was there. Zane had created the film in tandem with Return to escape the dark place. See the searchlight beams of the movie theater on the far side of the plaza.
The cinema lobby was a gateway to other realities on the silver screen. I could set a scene here. Did I stop writing at some point? I can't stop. There's too much at stake. I'd ever been on. They would surface from the dark with their depraved acts of violence and fade back into the night, leaving behind bloody crime scenes and clues heavy with obscure meanings that led nowhere. Arriving at the cinema, I felt a monumental, terrifying revelation trembling before me, ready to open its jaws and swallow me whole. This place had significance to the cult. There was something to use there. I needed a new draft of the story. One that would get me ahead of scratch. first step toward the murder site, I was making progress. Someone had barricaded themselves in the room. I needed a new draft of the story.
my writing was affecting reality. ceremony, or so we made our new members believe. Two of New York's finest, they had performed endless favors to earn their place among us. We had something special waiting for them, and something very special for you, Alex Casey. Who's your leader? Alan Wake? Hmm? Scratch? Zane? Give me a name! <laughs> You will meet him soon enough. There was no end to the corruption. It fit the genre, so I'd use it. circling Thomas Zane were a bottomless rabbit hole. I'd done some digging. To film freaks, he was a mythic auteur in the art house cinema. A rising star coming to America from Finland. But he only created one film. Tom the Poet. Before he went missing. Mirroring the vanishing of the main character in the movie. Played by himself. The biggest mystery was around his lost film, an early work made in Finland, Nightless Night, rumored to have mystic properties. Some claimed it was a snuff film, that the ritual murder in the film was an actual murder. There were no known surviving copies, but the cult chased it as if it were their unholy grail, just like Wake's books were.
following your master into La La Land. A sad bunch of clowns in funny masks and hoods pretending to be a secret society. Well, maybe it is you who's playing a role, Mr. Casey. A role carefully laid out for you. The puppet blindly performing the ritual steps for the glory of the cult. Huh? What the fuck have you been smoking? Nightless night. A clip of the lost film survived. You will see, Mr. Casey. In the nightless night, you will finally see. Nightless night was Zane's film. It played a role in this story. The light of the lamp shone out of the screen and revealed the door. It's a good scene for dark deeds. initiation, do you? Nah. I'm sure we'll just chant some ceremonial stuff. N nothing to it. Well, it's about time. We paid our dues. Made plenty of their problems disappear. Dumped all those nobodies down that chute. What we did or didn't do, it's all behind us now. We're going straight to the top, partner. Yep, like we died and went to heaven.
straight to the top. The dirty cops looked down at the city. Their city. They had committed repulsive deeds to get there. They told themselves it was worth it. The scene here had changed. could not be opened on the side. Got me, Mr. Casey. I'm all yours. Go ahead. Ask that burning question in your mind. How did you do it? How did you get me into that film clip without my remembering it? Talk to me, damn it! You've seen the film? Good, good. Now you're ready to meet the Grand Master. He's waiting for you in the projection booth where everything will be revealed where he will project a new reality onto this one. And now, Mr. Casey, I've played my part to the end. No! No! Crazy bastard! Why'd he jump? The projection booth. Was that where I'd find the murder site?
plot changed the details of the world. in a maze of film equipment. There had to be a way to the projection booth from here. I wasn't alone.
was back where I started. A loop within a loop. I had to keep going. I'm here, you son of a bitch. Show yourself. Who was it? Who said that? Crazy mask in my hands. You're a clown in a mask. I'm not the one wearing a mask here. The Casey in the story was losing it. I wasn't far behind. I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. Find a way to the murder site. I'm here, you son of a bitch. Show yourself! Shut up! That's a real shot! Casey! Who's there? Look, you got the wrong guy. I'm not Alex Casey. I only play him in the movies. He's just a fictional character. What? what what's going on here? You don't have to kill me. You don't have to go get that knife and stab me. You can just give up and go back. Forget about the ritual sacrifice to open. Oh no. Oh no, you don't. You'll be. What the fuck? Everything I 
out of your mouth is a damn lie. The only place any of this makes any sense is in your psychotic brain. As a fictional character in the story, you fulfilled your purpose. You brought the writer of the story here. You can go now, Casey. No, 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 I'm not going anywhere before I get some answers. How was I in that movie? How, why does all this feel so familiar? What? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? No! And welcome to you, Alan Wake. What the hell? This is the ritual to lead you on. We are just one step away from your final destination, Mr. Wake. But first, here is an unanswered mystery for you. If Casey was fictional, and you assumed his role as the detective, are you now fictional too? Whose story are you living, Mr. Wake? The visions were getting under my skin, coming too close for comfort. Not a separate layer, but mingling with my own reality in the dark place. Wait. Dead end. This can't be right. Did I miss something? Saga Anderson, listen. I, I've been tricked. Scratch wrote returned. I, I tried to fix the story, but he stopped me before I reached the end. He has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? I mean, with Scratch. I need to stop him. I need to stop him before he gets out. He's after Alice. I'm still trapped, but I'm making progress. I wrote you in to be the story's hero. Scratch made a horror story. I need to match the genre. It has to be dark, but the hero can break through, save her family, save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. Whatever you're doing, it's working. You just need to keep going. Did we have family in the horror story? Closer now. Closer than ever before. But there was no time to lose. Everything was hanging in the balance. I could still lose it all. Parliament Tower. I had to make it work this time. I could stop Scratch, get the manuscript, fix its ending. I was traveling deeper into the dark place. The poem on the wall was growing at the same pace, dogging my footsteps, like my unwanted shadow moving in the corner of my eye. It wasn't my writing. I didn't know what it was. A terrible prophecy, a curse, looming over me.
this city to drown the memories of this nightmare, but I damn well try. This case would never be closed. I have more questions now than at the start. The irony of being trapped in a postmodern detective story. I felt watched. The eyes of some unseen audience on me. I wanted to turn to the hidden camera and tell them to fuck off. But I didn't know where to look to break the fourth wall. There would always be another case for Casey. A million stories in this dark city. The night opened up to welcome me. I walked into her arms. Roll credits. either. Huh? You're me? Me? I don't understand. There's a lot I don't understand. I 
dark place operates in loops. Time is a story. I'm calling you from a different point in that story. From the future? I'm never getting out of here, am I? Yes, you will. And no, you won't. And that is by your own choice. What does that mean? I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. Alice's photos you found from the shoebox in the talk show basement. Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put them in the shoebox at her statue at the plaza. To help you, to help Alice, to help Saga Anderson. I'm my own deus ex machina? Really? How many writers does it take to finish a story? One for each draft. It's the same writer, but in a different... I'm sorry about your brother, Elmo. Yako was all heart. He always went along with my ideas, no matter how stupid they were. Always happy to help. I got carried away. I never think things through. It's my fault. I realize it's a bad time. But I need you to tell me everything about the cult of the tree. The cult is my craziest idea that ever worked. <laughs> Look, what kind of a cult calls themselves a cult? Exactly. We protect watery and bright falls. We're the good guys. A secret neighborhood watch. Well, that was the idea anyways. Look, we've always known about the horror inside the lake. When any Taken come out, we kill them. You don't turn people into Taken. You kill the ones who already have. You were trying to kill Alan Wake. Why? Nothing good has ever come out of Cauldron Lake. The nightmare that hit Bright Falls in 2010 was all because of his writing. And ever since then, pages of his stories are floating up from the lake, and monsters keep popping out. It's all him, Wake. And if we don't stop him, no one will. Wake's evil doppelganger scratches the threat we're facing. Not Wake. And I will stop him. I've never heard of anyone called Scratch. How long has the cult been around for? Certain folks around here have always known about Cauldron Lake. Before us, it was the Torchbearers. And when I inherited the mission, I wanted to call it a cult. <laughs> it was genius. Just a name did half the work. Made people too scared to go into the woods at night. Business 101. Fear is a great motivator. Scratches wakes double. He tricked us. He almost got the clicker from me. The whole plan has gone out the window. How could we get this so wrong? Textbook boondoggle. You said it, Anderson. It's a shit show. So what's the plan? 
Scratch pretended to be Wake to trick us. He almost won me over. I should have trusted my gut. I had a bad feeling about him when we found him at the lake. When that insane monster cloud came at me in the woods, I saw a face inside it. Wakes. I think he was always a monster. Always Scratch. The FBC usually handles stuff like this, right? Any thoughts? Hold up. You brought a paranatural object in here without telling me and then almost handed it over to a hostile entity? I didn't know if I could trust you. That was a mistake. So was believing Scratch. But it's not too late. <laughs> I just need to understand more. <laughs> you got that right. Let's start acting like we're on the same side, yeah? So tell me what I'm missing. The FBC must know something. Good news, we have Bureau intel on all of this. Bad news, it's highly classified. Good news, consider yourself deputized into the Federal Bureau of Control. Here's a key to the cell where we keep the files. Happy reading. Okay. Um, thanks. Go team. The horror story is changing reality. It made it so my daughter died here, even though she's supposed to be back home in Virginia. Do you know if that's... Uh... AWEs are localized distortions of reality. The area outside town might not be affected. Sometimes they expand, sometimes they fizzle out. If we can make sure it's the latter, your kid might be fine. You really don't remember Logan living in Virginia with me and David? Uh, I remember you and David having problems. You needed a break. You and Logan moved to Watery and... And then, uh... Then Logan... Well, that awful thing happened. After you came back to work, I thought you'd be the perfect partner for this case. If you were willing to return to the area. Okay. That's enough. The whole thing is a nightmare. I can't let my family be torn apart. Having family isn't easy in this line of work. The late nights, travel, alternate realities threatening their existence. My ex-wife couldn't take it. Karen, you're better off without her. I know I am. The story is changing your memories. What you're remembering is fiction. Logan is alive. I'm not divorced. We never moved here. I remember the truth. No, no, no. Wake or Scratch, whoever that was, said the story could be used to attack us. We all need to question what's real. With that said, how do we know the story isn't giving you false hope? I can't convince them. I just need to change the story. Shouldn't spend time on old questions.
think, Saga. That's not right. <laughs> the dark presence is vulnerable against bright light. At least that makes sense. That's all the stashes. These people were well prepared. Something is wrong. What's happening to Casey? I'm a goner. Swell. A shadow crawling under my skin. In my head. Call my ex. Tell her I'm sorry. Terminal case, Casey. Something is wrong with him. He's hurt worse than he says. He's scared. said the cult kills taken is he telling the truth surplus deer masks by in bulk we've got a floater a taken on the shore call the gang yako we are going hunting cult of the tree keeping the town safe since 2013. elmo is telling the truth about the cult they really were fighting the taken we're on the same side if the cult is killing Taken, then why did Nightingale turn into one? Private party. Invitation only. Wrong time. Wrong place. Time to go, Yako. 
A job half done isn't done at all. Nightingale became a Taken because the Bookers interrupted their ritual. I assumed Wake escaped the Dark Place. Is it possible he's still there? The big apple in an ocean of darkness. Gone diving. Note from my editor. You're using the wrong tense. Trapped in a loop. My friends will meet him when I'm gone. Wake is still trapped in the dark place. Maybe he always was. Scratch was pretending to be Wake. Manipulating me. What does he want from me? No! I'm in control here. It's my mind place. He's powerful. Too powerful. Just his presence here makes me feel sick. Like a wave of terror through my head. I feel his single-minded drive to get the clicker. Wake is trapped in the dark place. He's been reaching out, communicating with me in the overlaps. Hmm. So sorry, Yako. The lake is a gateway to the dark place. What the hell is a para utilitarian? Wake isn't the first person the Dark Presence disguised itself as.
The clicker amplifies any changes to reality suggested by a piece of art. Makes them permanent. <laughs> I need to know what information I can still trust. Wake told me the clicker would fix this, but Wake was actually Scratch. How can I trust anything he said? The artist must conclude his work. He rides a storm on your piece. Wake up and smell the danger. We told you already, kiddo. What Tom said about the light switch is true. Don't let the story confuse you. You need him to write the ending you want. The clicker to make that ending come true. But we don't have Wake. Everything we knew about the clicker was true. He wasn't lying. Scratch told me the clicker can be used to change the story. Does that match your understanding of this thing? Yeah, the light switch is a paranatural item, maybe even an object of power. We have verified reports that Alan Wake was in possession of it during the AWE here back in 2010. It definitely has power. We know that much. I can come up with a plan. I always do. So the Cold of the Tree actually kills Taken. They were on our side even if their methods are misguided and criminal. It looked right from where we were standing. Nothing's what it seems in this case. Too many stories contradicting each other. Too many versions of the truth. We have a lot of catching up to do after this thing is all over. Everything is different now. My family, me, the whole fucking world. I'll buy the coffee, Anderson. Partners to the end. This case is one for the books. I see what you did there.
The clicker can fix this, but I can't use it without Wake. Tor knows about this stuff. Maybe he can help. Wake is still in the dark place. How do I get him out? We live and breathe rock and roll. From the silence of screams, from the fever of dreams. The clicker can amp up other works of art, not just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake will make it creep into reality. But if the holder of the clicker believes in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the clicker without Wake. Only Wake's writing can change the horror story. But I can use the clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. I will use the clicker to change reality and bring Wake back at Cauldron Lake. I'll need the right work of art, but that won't be a problem. I've got it now. I just need to tell the others what to do and fix everything. For good. So we need Wake to fix the story, right? That hasn't changed. So here's what I have. Wake's still trapped in the dark place, under the lake. I think we can use the clicker to get him out. But first, we need a work of art. Something other than his story. And that'll get him here. I'm not filling out the paperwork for this one. I wouldn't know where to start. But I'm sold. Okay. Look, this feels like something that once we get the ball rolling, there's no turning back. You sure you have it all figured out? I'm ready to head to Cauldron Lake now. Let's get the plan started. Okay, here we go. We'll be there for you. What do you need from us? I'll head to Cauldron Lake with the clicker. Scratch will try to get you, Anderson. You'll need backup. I can tell there's no talking you out of coming, Casey. Estevez, is there a way to get that light array to the lake? Oh, I've got you covered, so good news there. And we'll bring our mobile containment unit. It's specially built for entities like Scratch. And this work of art, Anderson. What's the plan for that? I'll make some calls on the way. Just meet me at Cauldron Lake. Tor, I need the old gods of Asgard. I need a very special song. Hell yeah! The tour bus is already loaded, and we've said our goodbyes. Ready to hit the road, just like the old times, baby. You saw this coming, huh? Of course. I need a song about Alan Wake, about bringing him out of the dark place. A writer. A lake of darkness, bringing him into the light. <laughs> it writes itself. I hope they've still got it.
David, please pick up. David. David! It's me. Where have you- Stop. For once, you need to listen. You left me. You took my daughter away from me. Then you let her... She's dead because of you. And I don't ever want to hear your voice again. Stop calling me. David! Jesus Christ. It's getting worse. It's spreading. I'm running out of time. Coming with the lights, Anderson. Where do you want them? Set them up on the shore. We need to be ready if Scratch shows up. We'll be ready. That's the best out. to meet me at the shore. Is the song ready? Almost. Odin's got a killer chorus. Come <laughs> save your soul. Awake new and whole. By name I will serve It's a dark ocean ceremony. Oh, tree! Tree! What tree? There's no tree in the song. Drive carefully, Grandpa. Pedal to the metal, bro! Metal to the metal! Yeah! <laughs> Very rock and roll way to drive.
Good job, Saga. Now keep moving. Lights in the containment cell are good to go, Anderson. Great. The Torin Odin there yet? <laughs> the two golden oldies? Oh, they're here. And they bought moonshine. I love them already. <laughs> they're a lot. You wanted to know what art we would use? Well, that's them. I'll be there soon. One, two. One, two. One, two. is we were in a hurry the power supply is spotty your partner here will try to keep it running I, i'm not a damn mechanic i wish your tech guy was here karen torin odin's song is our best bet of getting wake out of the dark place scratch will come for us we need to be ready to protect them Just like Just old like times, old like, bro. like bro, fighting the fighting force of darkness, darkness with heavy metal! metal. metal. Ready? 
Grandpa, you signal me when the song is done, and I'll use the clicker to bring Wake back. Hit it! Hello, Cauldron Wake! Great to see so many federal agents here tonight. Prepare to experience a soul searing mind fry act of black magic and sorcery! This song goes out to, to our favorite tortured writer. Let these Let sweet tunes guide you out of the darkness. It's called Dark Ocean Summer Name. Thank <laughs> you. 
happened? Why didn't it work? I did everything right. Art to bring him back? Clicker to make it real? So where the fuck is he? before. I didn't know how many. This felt different. Like my last chance. If it wasn't already too late. There's so much rage inside of him, I can't stand it anymore. God, I tried so hard. I can't. I can't. made a decision. Most of you won't understand. People call me an artist. But I don't care about any of that. I just wanted to show the world what I see. I can't keep going like I have been. It's time for a perspective shift. To go from photographer to subject. From artist to art.
tortured her until she couldn't stand it anymore. Until she broke. And all that time, she thought it was me. Scratch was still here. He hadn't escaped the dark place yet. He was scratching my edits out of return. <laughs> I had seen this before. This was not Scratch. This was me. Caught in a loop. I had stopped myself trying to fix the manuscript. I was the one haunting Alice. It was always me. I killed her. Getting off this time Same person. He's here! Scratch! Watch out, Anderson! SFS, Scratch is Wake with the dark presence inside him. He wants the clicker. Change of plan. I'll lure him to the cell. When we're inside, lock it and blast it with all you got.
sorry. Wait. Is it you? Oh, I'm so sorry. Did it work? to get to our next gig. We're doing this for you and our lovely saga. You take care of things on this side. Don't screw it up, Tom! Welcome back, Wake. You are Wake now, right? With a shadow out of you? Some good news, at least. Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. The shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is... Are you able to fix this? I can try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. Scratch. The dark presence inside Casey. It threw Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out. With the power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the Dark Presence is occupying Agent Casey? When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he has the clicker. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for Return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. <sighs> well, you won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. I wish I could help, but this is all on you. I got you every kind of weapon we have available. Don't fuck it up. I needed a car. The FBI vehicle would be at the parking lot. I was awake again, clear-headed for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. I was back exactly where I left. A dark forest outside Bright Falls. A gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other. Haunted by my own writing. Alice, take it from me. I knew what I had to do. Stop the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence.
weakened it, made it dormant. I couldn't remember what had happened, but I could feel it, getting stronger, waking up. I thought it was hunting me, closing in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over. It turned me into scratch. I was awake again, clear-headed for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. I was back exactly where I left. A dark forest outside Bright Falls. A gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other. Haunted by my own writing. Alice, take it from me. I knew what I had to do. Stop the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence. I had to get to Bright Falls. I brought Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey.